All right, we back. That's definitely the last video for the night. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna wrap up uh, Libra, which will be the last piece of the astrology for this week. Hope y'all been checking out the astrology videos. Definitely was a blast to make. And um, definitely doing Twin Flames and Union Reunion Recognition. Definitely going to do a uh, Divine Feminine Extended Breakdown. So what I'm going to do now is a Divine Masculine's Karmic Situation um, for the core. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to see what this message is, all right? It's hot as hell, man. It's kind of... Either that or not having no coffee. I had no coffee all day. King of Wands was the first card I picked out too. So you're front and center. <laughs> you're front and center for your message, and that's and that's a good thing. So let's get straight with it. Overall energy. You got the five of pentacles. This is the dark night of the soul. This is going without something. You're going without something, divine masculine. And what is that? It could be a new. It could, it could be various things. Whatever it is, it's a pinnacle. It's a person, place, or a thing. Something you can taste, touch, see, feel in here. And you're going without it. Put more smoke on it. You got the Ace of Swords. Seems like what you're going without is a direction. Ace of Swords. That's what's clarifying this Five of Pentacles. You're going without something. Ace of Swords. We had this in the last reading. Twin flames and separation. This is the right direction. This is up. What's up? God is up. King of Swords. The step before this card. Zion is up there. That's the Four of Wands. You can find purpose up there. Or here. Whichever. It's got to be looking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you need to learn how to survive. Ace of Swords. This is also the loading chamber in the Matrix. You get A for anything you need in life. Anything you need in life, you get it through yourself. Or God. I and I, you and God are one. You are walking, talking universe. That's awesome. But it's all mental. How you view yourself. Who you think you are. What you think this is. <laughs> you know, you are what you think about. So if you're looking for direction, you need to just ace the swords. What's that? Look up. What's up? God is what's up. That's the first Step. You trying to find something that was taken away from you? Guess what? It's gone. You, it's, you can get more. Whatever you lost, you can get. That's what a pinnacle is. I'm telling you, it's a person, place, or a thing. Whatever it is, you can lose it. But you can also get it back. It might not be the same pinnacle. But it can still fill that same slot. Seriously. <laughs> Thank God the death card ain't out here. That's overall energy. Bottom line energy, which is very important. We got the nine of pentacles. Divine masculine. You was in this position in your twin flames and separation reading. This is in a position to bless somebody. Or be blessed. Let's let's see what's going on. <laughs> Are you getting blessed? Are you gonna bless somebody? Let's see what's going on. Knight of Swords. Let's make a decision without crossing your T's and dotting your I's and or fear. Gotta pick another card with this. Seven of Wands. This is internal conflict. So once again, Ten of Pentacles is the step after this Nine of Pentacles where you're currently at, masculine. Ten of Pentacles is all good. I mean, it's, it's all good. This is what you wanted. Like, A+. plus. You got an A right now. Shit is awesome right now. If you're really analyzing your situation correctly, and once you know when you get to the next step, it's going to be even more awesome. Aside from that, Ten of Pentacles, the next step after this, is the Twin Flame Fusion Chamber. That's when two twins come together like butt cheeks. you got to be a divine to enter the Twin Flame Fusion Chamber. A divine, masculine, or feminine can't fuse with no fucking karmic. Karmic has to be activated to even get fused. Now, you trying to fuse with a karmic, masculine or feminine, that's like putting, like I say, a, a square peg in a circle hole. You know what I'm saying? That shit just not going to fit. Now, <clears throat> you in a good position, scared to go to the next step. I say scared because you got the Knight of Swords, which is fear. 
<laughs> what are you scared of? Only thing, like one thing I do know, if any masculine, divine masculine has one fear, it's their divine feminine. I'll say that shit two times. If like your masculine could be this tough guy, he could be this fearless guy, wise guy, you know what I want for one thing I know for sure, divine masculines fear their divine feminine. Cause they know fucking with their divine feminine, they finna fuck with the unknown. They know fucking with their divine feminine, they finna get taken higher. They're already high. A for ascending on their own path. But they know the feminine gonna accelerate that shit. I'm talking about feminine gonna multiply your situation. Even with situations like me and my twin. Two dudes, not sexual father son demo. I could multiply a situation. You know, I can do my part. <laughs> I can do my part too. Feel what I'm saying? You can't lose fucking with the feminine. Just like the feminine can't lose fucking with their masculine. And I'm gonna say this shit. Pause. Feminine, you can never lose fucking with your masculine. Fuck what you talking about. <laughs> I'm telling you, this shit is military training school. That's what your masculine is. But it ain't just what your masculine is, that's life. That's being in this world. This world is a military training school. Because it's fucked up. And we got to deal with it. And we got to stick and move and really roll with the punches and really grow and evolve while going through all this fucked up shit in the world. Aside from going through all this fucked up shit in the world, we going through fucked up shit in our twin flame demos. Which is holy. And divine. You know what I'm saying? Purpose. It was a purpose for it. And God set this shit up. So when, <laughs> so when you know your twin, God, set, God hooked this shit up. We... And God hooked this up. You and your twin and God hooked this situation up. In case y'all didn't know, for those that didn't know, now you know. You, your masculine and God hooked this shit up. Well before we well before we got to Earth. We've been around a few times too. Like we've existed in other places and shit. I told you seven trillion inhabited planets. God work is never done. We've been doing work for God for a long ass time. You know what I mean? We just happen to be at a I'm telling you, Earth's position to where heaven is as far as Fuck, bro, like we destined, G, and we in an isolated sector. That's a whole nother sector. That's a whole nother conversation, but uh, I got to get these LOE start. LOE sessions popping. But anyway, masculine, stop being scared. Knight of Swords. The only reason you fear your feminine is because of the internal conflict, seven of wands. That's what the divine feminine gives you. I told you, you scared of your feminine. What I mean by scared is like, I remember I sent my twin flame a uh, meme. And it was like a, it was like a race, right? You had a guy here at the starting line in a race. You had a guy here. You had a guy here. You had a guy here. You had a, a guy here. Death was the end of the motherfucking race, and this represented life. <laughs> you had like obstacles, health problems, stress. Then you had fear. And fear was the Grim Reaper. And uh, my twin was like, yeah, you the Grim Reaper. I'm like, what the fuck that's supposed to mean? Fear. I'm like, you ain't got no reason to be scared of me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, you ain't got no reason to be scared of me. He was like, you know. But I do, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, at the end of the day, you're your twin's best blessing, but you're their worst nightmare in ways you can't understand. It's like a guy, a, uh, I don't know, like a basketball superstar that likes this chick that's built like Lizzo. Not disrespecting Lizzo, you know, I like big chicks and shit, more Jill Scotty, you know, more, more Monique. -y. You know what I'm saying? Lizzo, you know, <laughs> it's like you want to fuck with her, but you don't know how people going to perceive you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know. It's like you like big girls, but you don't want the... I don't know, it's like a secret. You want to keep that shit a secret. You fuck with, I don't know, BBWs and secret and shit. And this is... <laughs> it's basically like the energy of like, you know what I'm saying? You just dealing with that. You know what? I like Shorty. She might not be appealing to y'all standards, but I love every inch of this chick. Come here, baby. Matter of fact, it's like you bring it to the to the SVs. Like, oh, that's just right. In my own league voice, lot of skinny bitches gonna be mad, you know what I'm saying? But it's like it's like that energy. You ain't gonna do nothing but I don't know, gain from that. Your fame gonna escalate, popularity gonna double. 
It's going to be more big bitches at the games now because of you. When big bitches wasn't even at NBA games. You know what I'm saying? Like, that type of energy. You feel me? Let's move on. Divine Master, you're kicking the situation off in your karmic role with yourself. You know why you're in a karmic role kicking this shit off? Because you yourself been acting real K for karmic -y. K stands for king, not karmic. So if your king ass acting karmic, then you the king of karmics out this motherfucker. Let's put some smoke on that. Hey, you got some real karmic -y energy, masculine. And clarifying that as the dream come true. Or which, granted, this popped out last week, right? What is this nine of cups? I really want to know what this is. It's in the wands. <laughs> this popped out on last reading, too. Divine Master, you the king of, of, of wands. Wands are actions. Wands are behavior. Wands are current motion, right? Things you're doing. If we can put it in an element or some shit like that, it'd be fire. Right? You you burn. Every time a divine masculine is in divine form, he gets the tendency to burn you divine feminine. Now check this shit out. Your masculine is on fire. This is it's like I said, when he's on fire, he helps people. He blesses his people. Find the pinnacles. Be in a position to bless somebody or you know, you bless yourself. He bless and your masculine bless somebody last message too. So your masculine been in divine form as far as subconsciously, because I don't think he's consciously doing this shit. Because if this was his reading personally, this will be his first subconscious thought. You got the subconscious up top, conscious at the bottom. Since this is a karmic reading, it's in the karma instead of subconscious. Shit, he's not consciously doing. The other way I'm asking helps people. He's real shit. Your masculine has fulfilled some dreams for some people. He's answered a few prayers. He's came through for people in ways you don't even understand. Once again, here the divine masculine, feminine. You ain't just the one out here making miracles. You ain't just the one out here doing good shit. Like even with my masculine man, like he does more hands-on shit than I do. I might help people on this computer or on my phone, or you know, when I meet people in person and travel from state to state and shit around the country, hopefully around the world. You know what I mean? I might do my thing, but like I say, it's more mental, it's more spiritual, it's more theoretical. My masculine is more hands-on. He'll go to soup kitchen all day and feed people. Because they need to be fed. And he's here to feed them. He'll give out tents and bags of like clothes, socks, drawers and shit. Like my twin dude, old school. He owes the older dude. He do old school shit. That helps. It's like a bum axe for a dollar. My twin throw his ass some socks or some condoms or some toothpaste and just shit he need. Food or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm more of a money type. Here you go. It's more liquid. You ask, so you shall be given. I mean, those mouths don't get fed, so I respect the person that keeps it real and asks me whatever the fuck they want. Not saying I'm going to enable them or give them what they want, but I'm saying they ask for it. They kings, just like I am. <laughs> Moving on. Um, masculine helps. He blesses. He does good in the world. Don't think he's just out here being a total fool. However, it's just some shit he kind of pumped the brakes on. My opinion... Feminine that was fucking with you to fuck with whatever karmic situation he has. I don't see no karmic in here. Remember last week it was a whole karmic? I don't see no karmic in this reading. <laughs> Seems like whatever karmic situation he had temporarily ended. And it always temporarily ends. He needs to permanently end this shit. And it permanently ended. He just got it on pause. Move on. <laughs> Masculine, you personally come into the situation, you saucy. Saucy somebody that just broke up. You single and ready to mingle at this bitch. Or, this is your swag after lockdown. Like I say, Illinois, baby, I'm counting down. I hope we get the fuck free, Joe. Just a couple days, shit. Less than a motherfucking week, Joe. On the 30th, I'm telling you. Boy. Hey, boy, I'm going fishing. Barbecue every fucking day. Going to the beach. And then we're gonna start rocking and go hiking and shit. I'm gonna just be I'm going to gym. I, that's one thing I miss more than anything is the fucking gym. God, I miss the gym. <sighs> anyway, sauce. You'll be fucking saucy as hell when it's time. Like I say, it's been a lockdown. All motherfuckers been doing is spending money, buying outfits and shit, getting tattoos, thickening out. Motherfuckers that like that thick. Like I say, for motherfuckers that like thick chicks. Oh, 
good. Nigga, it's going to be very saucy, like I say. <laughs> it's going to be very saucy. I can't wait to see some actress, actresses and shit. You know what I'm saying? Tick the fuck out from this little quarantine and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's called healthy weight. I like seeing healthy weight on women and shit. It's just it's a whole sauce thing. It's a whole vibe. Lady. Any rate, sauce. Masculine, you saucy as shit. Which is a good energy to be on, but let's see if you're really authentic with this shit, because this is what you're consciously on. Nine swords. Nah. <laughs> six. Nine. This is a six. This is a nine. You iffy. On one end, you saucy. On the outside, you good. Oh, that, yeah, I, you, you, it's like, you still dating so-and-so? Nah, we, I'm good. I'm saying going straight. You know what I'm saying? Ready to mingle. It's like, you smiling, you dressing good, you glowing. But it's like, inside, you nine of swords. And when I say inside, mentally and shit, like, you losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight the wrong way, or gaining weight the wrong way. It's like, you stressing. Why is you stressing? When, like I said, you kick the situation off, going from a five of pentacles, having nothing, to Nine of Pentacles having something and more to blessing somebody even. What is she stressing for? You too blessed to be stressed. You, you out here blessing people. Like you gotta be blessed to bless people. What is you stressing for? I mean, what is you stressing for? Nine of Cups. You just want to be loved. Or you just want love or some LL Cool J shit. No one says the Knight of Cups. This is the Romeo card. It's a divine energy, but it's very it's a very juvenile divine energy. And the way I take that is this. On the outside, things look fine. And the inside, things are kind of ugly. But deep, deep down, on a larger scale of things, you know exactly what your heart wants. You know exactly what you're trying to attract out here. You definitely want to get it right this time. You might not got it right your whole life. You might not got it right this whole time. But guess what? It's a new day. I'm telling you. <laughs> a lot has happened since the quarantine. Trust me. This shit going down in history too, man. It's too much shit happened this year. And this shit ain't even finished. My birthday ain't even got here yet. It ain't even Leo season in this bit. Any rate, feminine role. Feminine. Uh, energy. These are the women in your life. Daughters. Mothers who ain't here. Sisters. Mothers who are here. Female acquaintances. Female co-workers. Gay best friends. Things of that sort. Three of cups. This is a distraction card. Why do you have a distraction card in your midst? <laughs> in the feminine energy. We got the two of cups. Ooh, gotta pick another card. If it's another red card, it's a warning. It's a warning. Three of Cups, this is distractions. Or your family or your kids or anybody that's you that's you. That's that's your card right there. Anybody that orbit you. You know, kids, older family members, things of that sort. So you either two things, you either distract it, or this is a family issue. Or to deal with kids and or family. <clears throat> Two of Cups. This is you and another cup. This is you and the person you closest to. Or you and the person you getting to know. Or you and the person you trying to get to know. I mean, you really don't know because, like I say, it's a whole cup in front of whatever the situation is. Look like you had a whole demo, right? Before some got in the way, but whatever got in the way ain't there no more. Right? And the reason why I ain't there no more is because it wasn't meant for it to be there. Seven of Cups. This is the Pimp Cup Chronicles in my deck. Right? This is finding out a, a new piece of you, part of you, that you ain't know that was inside. That you're about to pull out of yourself and give it to the world because the world needs it. Whether it's your presence, time, money, resources, or energy. You're needed. Not just for your twin flame, divine masculine. You're needed in life. The world needs you. God needs you. Children need you. The your older peers need you. Your peers need you. You know what I'm saying? You're needed in the war, the world. And it's a warning. You know, you gotta focus on a task at hand. Every time you put another cup. In front of this whole little situation. Just, just take this two of cups as 
your twin flame demonstration. You know, aside from what you be trying to do over here and aside from how you feel about it in the future, which is anxiety. That's where the fear comes from. Bottom line. That's where the fear comes from. Because you don't know what a future looks like with your divine feminine, but your divine feminine knows exactly what a future looks like for you. It's, yeah, it's not a story. You and your twin got something going on. Stop fucking up the connection. You two need to be eye to eye. You two got a lot of analyzing to do, catching up to do. History to kind of find out about each other. It's this whole story you two got going together in three's fucking company. Now. The whole Seven of Cups situation, like I said, this is the Pimp Cup Chronicles. Like, Pimp Cup, what's a Pimp Cup? It's a regular cup, but it's got like rhinestones on it, a design. I don't know, maybe like some artwork on it, some shit. It's different. Like, if I went to work with a Pimp Cup coffee mug, you know what I mean? That's lit. And this is blinding people. I'm drinking it. I'm in the office. This is just like it stands out. You know what I mean? It was a regular cup. Six of cups. Like I say, we all saucy. Everybody has the sauce. Everybody is special in their own individual way. But seven of cups is being all that in the back of chips. Six of cups is being all that. Seven of cups is being all that in the back of chips. Cups are all that. Just like every, like a, every cup in my cabin is all that. Just like every human being is all that. We're all one. On gang gang. And it's like... <laughs> it's good being cool. I mean, let's just take it. Let's, let's take it up a notch. You know, it's just like you taking your glasses off and getting contacts, and people noticing that about you when they didn't really notice before. Really, people weren't even talking to you until they had a reason to talk to you. You're just giving them a reason to talk to you. You know, it's just like. <laughs> Andre 3000 from Outkast just dressing like the music he hear. Outkast is already killing shit when Andre was like, huh, Andre. But soon Andre found himself and just went a whole nother direction appearance-wise. I tell you, it draws you in. Lil, Lil Scrappy said that shit in the interview. I think it was DJ Vlad. DJ Vlad tried to play him off. He was like, yeah, I heard when you was in high school, you had blonde hair, you dyed your hair blonde and shit, and you put in blue contacts and shit. He was like, why you do that shit? He was like, why you think I do that shit? It's like, pussy, motherfuckers. So he, was like, I'm, he was like, I'm black, right? If I, He was like, if you look in the club and see nothing but black hair motherfuckers, and then you look and see a blonde hair, blue eyed motherfucking boy out of everybody else, you gonna see what's up with me. He was like, that's why I did it. It kind of makes sense. I knew some motherfuckers in the 90s when I was a shorty that was looking like that back in the day when my mom had her little hairstylist business and shit, giving motherfuckers finger waves and, and honeycomb buns and shit. But anyway, um, <laughs> you know, all in all, I'm saying all that shit sentence, you know, don't get distracted by the task at hand, okay? You got a purpose to do. Your twin is involved in it, masculine. It's your duty to figure that out. It's the subconscious or karma. Because like I say, even if you choose not to fuck with your twin, if you choose to sabotage this whole connection, guess what? You're going to have to deal with it later. You're going to see your twin again in another realm. Probably ain't going to remember him or her from this realm, but guess what? This shit continues. It always continues. Y'all was together in the last lifetime. Y'all together in this lifetime. Fuck you think going to happen in the next one. Y'all paired. You're paired, masculine. You got to really understand the power of pairs. But some of the greatest people in history were twins. I'm a twin. I got a twin sister and shit. Uh, the people were the, the first advanced. I'm going to say this and move on. The first advanced beings. Because we don't even know what to really call them. It ain't like they had in that uh, Adamaic or like Adam and Eve's genes. Like this, these are people for Adam and Eve. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't even know what to call them. All right. But these pre beings, pre people, the two people who sparked it off were twins and they were primates and they evolved. First time God came to in and dwell the minds of the, the, the beings here. These are people before Adam and Eve of the people here, the beings here. I don't even know what to call them. It was two of them. 
God indwelled their mind. Imagine how pleased God must have been when Urantia planted 606 <laughs> in the system of uh, Nebadon, located in Overton. You know what I mean? When life, when consciousness became present, it was nothing but creatures on this planet. Like, how do you even think the primate even evolved from the rest of the monkey class, you know what I'm saying, branch that they're in? Human beings are like, like, human beings to primates are like primates are to chimpanzees. It's just levels to this shit. Yeah, we did come from monkeys in a way, for those that don't buy into that shit. Evolution is real as fuck. Plan on being for a minute. And it has a whole story. Bother your answer book if you ain't found it. Moving on with this message. Masculine. You personally, in regards to the divine feminine, you're going to have to communicate. Or you're going to have to review a few messages. Eight of Wands. This is text messages. Uh, emails. Um, I don't know. Some messages you got from your divine feminine on Messenger. Some dumbass messages you had to your karmic. That you looking back now like, what the fuck? I just dodged a bullet. Like, how stupid was I looking? Because like I say, whatever this karmic situation was, you really stuck it in between your twin flame demo. It can never fuck up your twin flame demo because like I say, your divine feminine loves you unconditionally. Something you would, you really ain't going to get with these karmics. But all in all, it's messages you need to, to go back and look at. Reread some messages because I think you missed some important points in these messages because you probably didn't read them at all. <laughs> Pick up the phone when your feminine call because I bet you she picks up. He could be a she, she could be a he, you know how you rocking when you call. Masculines, if you get letters from your feminine, just open them up, check them out. Might be just what you need, just what you're looking for. Maybe that's what you're looking for. It's an actual document. Like an actual handwritten letter. I'm going to send my twin pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? It's expression at the end of the day. Okay, masculine. You got to learn how to express yourself. That's, that's step eight in the wands process. You got to learn how to communicate with your twin. That's learning how to talk to your twin. You can't talk to your twin all crazy. Why? Because you don't talk to nobody else like that. <laughs> Fuck you talking to. Fuck wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even come at people in the world the way you come into a feminine, and that's the shit you kind of really need to analyze. Why? It's a love hate relationship that you got with your feminine. That's some shit you're going to have to analyze. Why? You should never hate on your feminine. You should be just as proud as your feminine is with you as you are with her. And you are. But there is a dark side to the love, there is a dark side to the support. I'm going to say this shit and move on. It's like dogs. If you look at really these vicious dogs, you know what I'm saying, that never had no love, it's like, I seen this one video, it's like, you know, the dog can't even get, like, the dog don't even know what a pet is. You know what I'm saying? Dog's so scared, he's just hollering. He, ah, ah, ah. he don't even know what a pet is. He don't even know what a hug is. He don't even know what a kiss is. And then you see the dog, like, in the clip, like, I don't know, three, six months later and shit. This nigga happy and shit. He jumping around, you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying you're masculine dog. But I'm just saying, this shit takes time. It takes time to penetrate a damaged heart. Or a scarred heart. Or a hurting human. Your masculine is very complex, because you are. I told you, y'all fucking reflection. Feminine, you complex as shit. Your masculine, even more complex. Not more complex than you but more complex on levels that you can't understand. Just like just a lot of shit about you, your masculine can't even comprehend. Moving on to the masculine role. Masculine, uh, as far as your karmic role in regards to yourself, your karma in regards to yourself, you wounded, you hurt, you hurt. You hurt yourself and you ain't have to hurt. Here you is recovering from a breakup, you, you, you ain't even have to begin. Here you are, I don't know, hopping through hoops to do some shit. That either A, your twin told you you shouldn't have did, or B, something you kind of knew was a risk to begin with. This is like taking the risks. The risk was bad. You tried. You attempted. You failed. Now you got to live with the consequences. You hurt. Oh. You know? And it came from actions. What are wands? These are fucking actions. Behavior. 
your actions, wants, your behavior, wants, your current movement, shit you've been currently doing has got you hurt. Put more smoke on this wound. This is a deep wound, too. Ace of Cups, this is a deep wound, too. So you're going to have to take care of yourself, Master. Ace of Cups, self-care, self-love, self-respect, self-admiration. How do you heal deep wounds, masculine? I'm talking about these are the wounds that you've been carrying around since you was a boy or a girl. Shit you carry through your teens, through your young adulthood, through your, <laughs> for some, through your middle age. Feel me? You got to heal that shit. How do you heal it? You heal it yourself. Ace of Cups, self-love. You got to learn how to love yourself. So you can learn how to love another person, man. I'm telling you. <sighs> love, man. It's it's so simple. Yet people want to make it so fucking complex. God. So simple. But motherfuckers want to make it complex. The basic instructions before leaving Earth. So simple. It's in the title how simple it is. Motherfuckers want to make shit complex for no reason. You finding yourself is easy. You finding God is easy. You finding purpose. Purpose, excuse me. It's easy. You just got to stop being so fucking complex. Can't listen to other people when you try to find God or, or purpose. You're going to end up going in every direction but the way you need to go. And what's that way? It's an overall energy up. What's up? God is up. Now, consciously masculine, you trying to build a bridge. Or reconnect something, someone, or some place. Four of Swords. Some <laughs> Let me pick another card. Why the devil didn't come out? You trying to build your bridge back to the Twin Flame Fusion Chamber. This is you personally. This is shit you're doing personally. You know what I'm saying? Three of Pentacles. This is you. And another person doing some shit, or you and another person building something, or you and another person reconnecting, or you and another person growing somehow. It tells you, fucking with your twin, you always gonna grow. Fucking with your twin, it's always gonna be moving on up like George and Wheezy. It's options. It's gonna be, like I say, an influence, a double, triple, quadruple influx of everything you already got going on in life. Ten of Pentacles, what's that? It's all good. Goodness. You know what I'm saying? You will always be ten of, pentacles, ten of Pentacles good when you build with your divine feminine or build with another divine. When you build with karmics, on the flip side, when you build with karmics, all you're building is just, I don't know, a shrine to this Four of Swords. Four of Swords is an idle mind. Too much rest and relaxation. Doing too much shit that ain't helping the kingdom. Like I said, it's like you meet the love of your life, but all y'all do is fuck all day. Like, you smart, she smart. Both y'all grassroots motherfuckers. When y'all met, y'all was like, I don't know, putting in work out here in the community and shit. Like, really on a purpose. But it's like, y'all got so comfortable with each other, especially during this motherfucking quarantine. It's like, both y'all put y'all... It's like, y'all put both y'all fires out. Somebody gotta re rekindle shit. Somebody gotta light that flame. Masculine, you lit your divine feminine's flame. It's time to light that shit again. Think back. <laughs> when you met your twin, and, and like I said, it's the same shit I can say about my twin is the same shit my twin can say about me. Since I came with my twin life, I've seen his growth. He's a whole new person. Physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, but, you know, he had a wide mask, so he'd be acting a motherfucking fool. But he's a different, he's a new creature. Different person. Different person. Looks younger and everything. I meet my twin. Same shit. <laughs> I'm a whole new creature. Facts. I was just looking at a picture today on Facebook Memories. It was like March 2012. I had my pit bull with me, uh, Apollo Creed. Had the bald head back then. And I met my twin with a bald head. Me and my twin was both bald when we met. Now me and my twin hair is like, we got, both got good hair and shit. We, I don't know what we was on, both shaving our shit, but that was weird. We had a few different, we had a few things upon meeting that was pretty dope, but that was one of them. I was just looking back, 
at the picture like boom you had no idea what the fuck was gonna happen to you bruh and it's all good on my end I just want my master to understand that too it's all good you know what I mean you just gotta really take the good with the bad and really analyze analyze your whole situation what is this twin flame, twin flame situation to you if it's a blessing then you're just gonna get blessed from it if it's a burden then you're just gonna keep hurting if this shit ugly then you just gonna make shit ugly for your damn self, because like I said, the divine feminine is going to be straight with or without you. That's very important. And as long as the feminine understands that, you can't really hurt her or him because he can be a she, she can be too bad. Trying to figure this shit out. Moving on. <clears throat> Final row. Ten of Cups, feminine. You, oh my God, I keep saying feminine. Ten of Cups, masculine. Subconsciously, you're going to find happiness. Or karmically. You're going to find happiness. Or, yeah, that's it. Karma. It's your karma rope. Sorry. I told you I had no coffee. All day. Let me give you some more coffee. Mm -hmm. Happiness. You're going to find happiness in the future. And if not happiness, emotional contentment. Let's put some smoke on that. Four of Cups. You're finally going to find happiness in the Cups or emotional contentment in the world. Four of Cups is the world. It's temporary time and space. Like I said, we do go home when we leave here. Clarifying that, we got the fucking devil. And a warning. <laughs> so, last one. Um, looks like you're making your way back to the devil, buddy. And I kind of synced it right here with this little you and another person try to build. I was taking it as the feminine, but I told you the four of swords is the, is, is, is the devil's, is the idle mind. Four of swords is the idle mind, so it's the devil's workshop. Devil in. This, this door was open, and devil in. Masculine, this is you, and it's the devil. And it's like you fucking with him. And this is the door. You let him in, and it's all good in your head once again. <laughs> like I said, this should disappoint me. And the devil is whatever it is to y'all, masculines, man. I don't know what y'all going back and forth to. I don't know what y'all can't get enough of. I don't know what the fuck this monkey on some of y'all backs is. I don't know. I know what it is. Like I said, you, some of y'all masters got monkeys on y'all backs, man. How long are y'all going to keep hopping back and forth on this shit? Some of y'all still married. Imploding on y'all selves like a dying star in y'all demo or in situations and shit where you can just free yourself like Fantasia. Of course you ain't gonna have the financial backing you had when you was chained, but you free. It's like a slave being cool, just eating scraps and staying at master house. God damn it, go get free. Start your own fucking business and, and do better and more and be a better, like I say. If your twin know what you're doing in your demo, I bet your kids know what you're doing in your demo. You ain't fooling nobody. And you too grown to be on this shit. I'm saying, I don't know, I hate this, I'm, oh my god, that's karma. And it's the future, so it ain't happy yet. Let me tell you the karma, you fucking with the devil again, masculine. You're gonna lose more than a relationship. You're gonna lose more than a friendship. You're gonna lose more than a connection. What you're gonna do, I'm telling you, it's karma. When you don't deal with your twin flame demo, when you ain't on your business. You're gonna be in this energy you've been in. Wounded, stressed, nervous, and fear. These are temporary energies. Everything I just named was a temporary energy. You got to move on from them. Yeah, they reoccur because it's a process. It's like a big ass wheel. But at the same time, the way you revisit these weak ass energies is pathetic. From the devil card you revisit a lot to this wounded warrior, aka victim card, you keep bending on. You know what I'm saying? It's like. like you don't want to change and that's tragic now final card in your message we got the seven of swords secrets darkness coming to the light you keeping the 100 with somebody somebody else keeping the 100 with you or a fucking bone flying out your mouth because you ain't on your p's and q's and carries now this devil it's gonna come to the light it did before Last week it came out in the form of a karmic feminine. Let's see what's going to pop next week. We're definitely doing a karmic situation next week because I want to see exactly what this devil is. For some, it's drugs. For some, it's the same 
karmic that they just can't get away from. Like I say, spells, hexes, and all that shit, that's real. But like I say, if you a weak motherfucker, the only weak motherfuckers is susceptible to it. Oh, you calling me weak because I got into it? Tell you, man, the devil has no power in it. <laughs> the devil has no power. You allow no power. And that's something you can't be accountable for. Then, like I said, I don't know who can help you with that. Final message. Masculine, get with the program. Because karmics ain't with the program, and you show acting like you ain't in, like you ain't with the program. It's the matrix. You got to get with the program. What's the program? That's God. God is the program. <laughs> That's the mental program you need to be in tune with. That's the frequency you need to be on. Not the world. It's a low-level frequency. Not society. That's a low-level frequency. Not outside situations. That's a low-level frequency. Not romance. That's a low-level frequency. Divine love and earthly romance are two different fucking things. Shit. You can have eternal love for a person you ain't knocking boots with. It's like my master. <laughs> he said, swear that shit one time. I'm like, man, I love the shit out you, Joe. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't never gonna change. He said, you love me. Nigga, we ain't even knock boots or nothing. I'm like, what? You gotta physically fuck with somebody to love them? You, yeah, yeah. How else are you supposed to? No. I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna act like I ain't hear that shit. Because that sound like some real simple-minded shit, man. You know? Fuck no. <laughs> I'm saying it's all perception. Last message, it's all perception. That's how you're looking at life. Some people are living in the same fucked up world you're living in, having a good ass time. Me included, I can't complain. Feel me? Shit was fucked up like, I don't know, before I met my twin, I was going through some fucked up shit before I met my twin. Like, real shit. Fucked up shit. My twin kind of saved my life. My twin flame situation kind of saved my life. It ain't fucked my life up. Found purpose with this demo. Power within this demo. I'm like, I'm like a fucking X-Men now. Got influence and I'm doing shit for God and touching more people than I ever did with rap. That I ever did with a nine to five. That I ever did doing anything else. Can't lose with God. Can't lose with purpose. Can't lose with your twin masculine. That's my message. Hope it helps anybody. Thank you. Thank you everybody for watching. Straight up. I'm saying I love all y'all. Deuces. <laughs>